Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Since last time, I made my way back to the train here after failing to kill both of the worm's hearts at the same time, thanks to Etoile. Well, you couldn't do it the first time, so why would I want to do it another time with you? No! Huh? What? What's going on? I said no! Wow. Well, in any case, we need to go all the way back up there and kill the right part again! Surely, things will go better this time around. Fortunately, though, we can take a much straighter path to get back here. And I think we're all set and ready to go! For boss time against the right hearts. Again. And I think this fight is identical to the first time there. It seems kind of odd to make us go all the way over here, kill it, then go back, and then er, go back to the train, then come back here and do the same thing again. No real plot significance to that. But yeah, the conditions are the same. You need to kill the heart within six turns in the DS version, or on the sixth turn in the PS1 version. And all right, got it. Oh, good timely level up there to restore Chiba's SP there. Hey, hey all right. So second time's a charm, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. We still gotta go after the main hearts, though. One thing that's kind of interesting is also, even though we only killed the right heart, we still get a bestiary entry for the left heart, too. So yeah, we never see it in battle, but it's in the bestiary for some reason. But alright, I want to rearrange my setup here. I would like everyone to have about 100 speed. 110 would be preferable. And I want to actually give that Heroes Charm that I won recently to Michael there. It boosts your defense by 20, which may not seem like a whole lot. But the problem that can happen in battles in the late game is that you'll have like three or four enemies ganging up on you. And if you don't have any defense on, they will kill you and your low HP. So, if you got one, great, put it to use. If not, it's not absolutely critical, but it would be nice. For boss time! Against the main heart and queen bees and they are a lot tougher than the venom toads that we've been fighting up to this point so let's get flames of hell to exploit the elemental weakness there and let's see i'm gonna use an omega or not omega hydro uh what was it giga hydro there and also chiba's siku ability there to hit all enemies sometimes i've been able to kill all the queen bees with two Flames of Hell and two Sippus from Chiba there. But sometimes I'm just a little short, so I want to use a Giga Hydro to soften them up just a little bit, and that way I can pretty much guarantee that I'll be able to kill them. But yeah, what'll happen... Uh-oh. Chiba got put to sleep. That could be bad, because then I wouldn't be able to kill the Queen Bees. Oh, well... There you go! Okay! Wow, that worked! Okay, so then, let's see... I think all I need is one Flames of Hell and one Super to take out the... Queen Bees there. I'm not worried about Michael being put to sleep. He'll wake up eventually. Basically, just keep everyone above 100, preferably 150 HP, and you'll be fine. Especially once you've gotten rid of the Queen Bees. Oh, thanks for joining in on the festivities there. 
Okay, so now, well, I'm out of SP for Cornette. I would use Thunder Punch if I had more SP, but we'll be fine. I mean, once you've gotten rid of the Queen Bees, the battle is basically over. It's just a matter of time until you finish off the heart there. What happened to all your rocket launchers and machine guns? Just got like a little handgun going there or something. And, yeah, we're all on out of SP for everyone. I could use Heart, uh, Cornette's reward there, but, yeah, it's, it's over now, so. All right, got it. Timely level up there, too, for the trip back, huh? Well, technically, didn't they have all the bees? Though I suppose we did do better than they did. And also, by the way, you can't use... What are they? Oh, you can't use teleporters here to get out of here. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to have to walk back to the train. And let's see. We're all healed up there. But I do want to change my setup a bit. Now that we've gained, I think, a sufficient number of levels for my party members, I want to make Chiba into my tank there. Get a little more speed back there for Caroline. I think we'll be good. We don't need the heroes charm now. The random battles are not that threatening when you have enough speed to kill them before they can do anything. But I do want to give one of the genius caps to Michael there now. We've also gained sufficient levels to where we don't need as many speed shoes to get by here. And yeah, I think everything's good there. So, yeah, just move Chiba up in the order there. Or, yeah, switch Michael and Caroline around. Okay, so now it's just the same path back to the train. So I'll just meet you back there then. Okay, we're back on the worm train. And for some reason, the healing statue is gone. It's there in the PS1 version after defeating the main heart. But, for some reason, they don't put it here. I, I don't know. Not that it really matters. We've basically gotten through the bulk of the dungeon now. Uh, excuse me, princess. I was helping out here. And I was the one who was nuking all the enemies. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, well, that wouldn't be saying the much in this game. Most people don't seem to give a damn. Well, it's easy to be courageous when you have puppets to do your bidding for you. And tactical nukes. Huh? What's going on? It's a load-bearing boss! Yeah, pretty much. How could it crash? Why not? I don't think worms have very much inertia. And they died. Well... I didn't. And I guess everyone else, uh, I don't know if they're dead, but I can't interact with them. Well then, fortunately, let's see, I can't interact with whatever that thing is, a box of some sort. So let's get out of here so that we can heal up a bit. Totally out of SP there. And let's see, I don't quite have enough money to buy another genius cap. But we'll worry about that later. And okay, we're good on teleporters there. We're gonna need that when we're gone. So now we have access to the Enotium Mine. You could go there right now, but I wanna check out the Oasis Underground area right over here from the ass end of the area. 
it's a little faster to get all the treasure here from the back than from where we went in the first place. You wouldn't get eaten up by the worm again or anything else if you went through the front. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a little faster to do it this way. Yeah, I don't think we even need to go to the upper level of this floor here. There's no treasure there, at least not to my knowledge. Not that this treasure is anything extraordinary, but it's the principle of the thing. And besides, we're getting pretty good money from the enemies here, and experience for that matter. Okay, so let's see. Just one more on this part, and I think we'll be good. Hmm, I'm surprised I didn't get into another battle there, but... Alright, we're done with our business in the Oasis Underground, so all we've got left is the Enotium Mines there. Let's see how the recent boss fight would have gone in the PS1 version of the game. Okay, we're back in the PS1 version of the game. No major changes to my setup recently. Just make sure you got your Dragon's Claws spread out. Elkun is going to be the pure mage here. And everyone else is pretty good there otherwise. And I'm not worried about my MP or anything like that. Since I don't have mass damage for Cornette especially. For boss time against the main heart. Okay, looks like they got the jump on me this time, but fortunately, the Queen Bees are not nearly as tough as they were in the DS version of the game. So let's see what we can do, get in what damage we can. And let's see, I'm not really going to be using physical attacks here. So yeah, why don't we use Sugar Candy to soften up the Queen Bees just a little bit. Oh. Wow, I didn't expect to hit quite that much damage, but okay. And let's see, Storm? Yeah, I can hit the main heart from here. If I couldn't, I would have used Giga Storm because it has a wider range for its damage. Man, I haven't even gotten any additional holy spells yet. I've got to be getting close. And now, as far as the main heart is concerned, it might look like it's bigger than one tile, but it's not. It's just... Uh, it looks like it does, but it only occupies the one tile there. And unfortunately, we can't really get behind it on either side, so you only have the two tiles from which you could use a melee attack there. And let's see, Etoile is feeling suicidal usually, so she'll probably just try to shoot the thing at point-blank range for some reason. Hmm, maybe I should go... yeah, let's go there instead. And then go with Mega Saint, since it has a little more range than the original Saint spell there. Well, at least my party members are all spread out very nice. By the way, the horn command does not affect a twal here, even though she actually is on the battlefield, unlike the DS version, where she's just kind of hanging out in the back. Maybe I'll heal her if she's getting too suicidal, but, well, for now, I think we're doing okay. I do have heal all, which... Contrary to the name, doesn't heal everyone on the battlefield. But it does have a pretty good AoE there. Okay, let's see. I'm probably going to need to heal at least Kid. And maybe Etoile. We'll see what we've got. For now, just keep going with Horn 
from Cornette there, and physical attacks from Kid, and everything else should be fine, I think. Let's get in a little closer for the AoE heal. And let's see, how are we doing so far? Yeah, the big hearts, or the main hearts, got quite a bit of HP there. But it's not really threatening unless you're right next to it. I don't think it even has any status ailments in this version of the game. And one more. Ha ha! Alright, got it. Okay, well that's all for this fight here. There's one treasure that I want to show you guys in the Oasis Underground area. So I'll just skip past all the cutscenes we got here and I'll meet you outside at the Enotian Mines then. Okay, we're back outside the Enotian Mine there, but let's head on into the lower section of the Oasis Underground area. I wonder what this part of the dungeon is for, anyway. Maybe a passage to help people get to the mine? Even though it's clearly accessible on the world map. I don't know. But there is one treasure here that is different from the DS version. And another illustration. So, yeah, let's take a look at that one. We're getting there with our collection of them. They just really give them to you out of order, but eh, nice little uh, piece of artwork there. But can we find the Windstone in the Enotium Mines? Find out next time on Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!